everybody, this is Cheesy Man, and today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve a stable orbit around the planet of Kerbin on the Kerbal Space Program. Just like usual, we start out with the Command Pod Mark 1, as I said before, just because it's small, simple, and yeah. So first of all, before I forget, we're going to go and get this parachute and place it on top. Alright, so now we can start building the rocket. Take um, the standard decoupler and place it under there. Go back to propulsion and find the FLT 200 fuel tank. And um, this fuel tank, um, or um, and then find the uh, LV 909 liquid fuel engine. And this engine right here is um, basically our return craft. It'll just um, it, we'll just, um, we'll just use this to return to Kerbin once we are once we're in an orbit. Um, actually, take those off and then go into control and find the advanced SAS module, and you'll see what that does here in a second. Boom. Scroll up a little bit. Go into structural and take your decoupler again. And now this is going to be our, uh, or like a, this is, this is, um, you can either use the, uh, the FLT-40, or the LVT-45 liquid fuel engine, or the LVT-30 liquid fuel engine. Doesn't really matter, but I'm going to take the LVT-45. And um, this this um, spacecraft right here is um, going to, uh, or the stage I should say, is the one that's going to circularize the orbit or finish the orbit, I guess you could say. Take you another decoupler and then find this TVR blah 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 tricoupler and put it right there. The tricoupler, as the name suggests, just allows you to place three things under it. And then find the LVT 800 fuel tank. Go to symmetry and make it tri symmetry. And then place two of those under it. And this is going to be our main stage. Um, you can either use either of these, like I said before, but I'm going to use the LVT-30 liquid fuel engine just because it gives it a little bit more thrust. And thrust is always a good thing, right? And actually, before we do that, I'm going to take that off, go into propulsion, and find the... Um, actually... I can leave that on. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this on. And then find this. The Stratus V um, monopropellant tank, tank. And you can place four of those on there, however many you want. And this is fuel for RCS. And what RCS is, um, it's I like to refer to it as wings in space. Because it will just let you um, maneuver a lot easier in space. So take these um, RCS thruster blocks. They're under the control tab. And I'm actually just going to place three of these tanks. And then just place some of those um, RCS, and then that'll that'll allow us to um, maneuver easily through space. Now go into structure or um, aerodynamic, and you can take any wing of your choice, but I'm going to take the AVR8 winglet just because it has a lot bigger control surface than most other wings, because the entire wing will turn, so it just allows it to be a lot more maneuverable. And now we shall connect all these together with struts, these engines together with struts so they won't wobble and explode because that will happen I have tested the spacecraft in both the demo versions of the game and the um, actual real version of the game and they will work on both so you're good to go don't worry about that now find the um, launch stability enhancer and just like the name suggests it will just keep you stable until you launch so it will just elevate you above the ground so now staging. I want these engines to go off at the same time that these decouple. So I'm good with that. And then I want this decoupler to go. Yes. And then I want this engine to go off at the same time as this decoupler. So I'll drag those down. And now this decoupler. Yes. But I want this engine to go off at the same time. So I'll drag those. And then that's good. So we can call this Orbiter 1. Uh, pretty basic. Basic. Basic, basic. Let's call it the Kerbal Orbiter One. Save it and launch it. Clear the launch pad. That's my test, my test flight. So we are ready to go. Jebediah Kerman. Oh yeah, we got Jeb on board. The original KSP pilot. And he is happy and ready to go. So once our physics kicks in, I will show you what the SAS does. 
or this little module right here that we placed earlier. Once it loads, once it loads, if it will load, did it, did it load? No, not yet. Not yet. Oh, there it goes. Um, hold shift to bring it all the way up. Brought it all the way up. And then press T. And what T does is it activates SAS. And SAS keeps your ship stable. It'll just keep your ship pointed wherever you point it. So, because I'm pointed directly up and I press T, um, SAS will make sure that my aircraft points straight up. So, space <laughs> There we go. 
All right, so now we have 100 kilometers, and if we just continue on this path, we'll just fall. So that's why you click on your click right into the apoapsis, click add maneuver, and then you get these icons. And you want to go to this one that looks like the back of a plane and just drag it all the way out. And this is your prograde, so it will um, increase your velocity. And when you increase your velocity, your orbit gets more rounded. So I'm just going to try to circularize. It's kind of hard. It's going to be a pretty bad orbit. Just because it's not going to be very circular. And um, your periapsis is your lowest point in your orbit. So that's what that is. And I think once I... Uh, once I get this rounded orbit, I'm going to have to uh, call the end of uh, part one of how to get your ship into orbit. Just because my recording time is about to run out in about four minutes. So yeah. So um, down here, right here, um, this is um, how long you have until you need to burn. And this little blue icon right here, you need to put your um, your thing, your crosshair thingy right over it. Because that's where you need to burn in order to complete the maneuver. And this is how long you need to burn. Um, also, you can look at this because this is how much velocity you need to gain in order to complete your maneuver. So you can look at either of those. So I'm going to fast forward time. Bring us closer. I overshot it a little bit. But just throttle all the way up. There we go. Yeah. Um, um, if you press the R key, it'll activate the RCS. And yeah, see down here. I'm not, I don't need to use it right now just because the gyroscopes that are inside the cockpit are keeping me stable. With 30 seconds more to burn, we're going to have plenty of fuel to complete this. Starting to circle rise out, and this is going to be pretty. Oh man, that's, that's bad. That's bad. Um, that's a pretty terrible orbit. I probably screwed up somewhere, but yeah. So this is this is a stable orbit, I guess you could call it. It goes down pretty low, but it's a stable orbit. But um, uh, yeah. Um, this is going to be the end of episode. Um, not episode part one. In part two, I'll just finish up this orbit, and yeah, see you later.